So things are kind of heating up here. So in this video, I want to talk about Legends EA and like some potential features that could be in the game just based off of leaks and everything. And a little bit about the Switch 2 or the next Nintendo console, which I'm just dying to know what that thing's going to be called. So with Legends EA, I'm just really wondering if there's going to be any sort of voice acting. My, my first initial thought is probably not. I feel like we're still years and years away from a real official Pokemon game getting voice acting. And I feel like with the 3D Pokemon games, these are like the perfect games to give us voice acting. Obviously they can afford to have voice acting because it's the biggest franchise on the planet. So that's not the issue. I'd say with voice acting, the issue is probably just like time because you really would have to record thousands and thousands of different audio recordings just for the game. Because with an open world game, like such as Legend ZA or pretty much all of like the recent Pokemon games over the last couple of years, you know, there's random NPCs all over the place. If you have voice acting for all of them, that means you have to have somebody record audio and dialogue for every single random NPC. Make sure to subscribe to the channel guys, leave a like on this video and comment down below if you'd want to see voice acting in a Pokemon game any support goes a really really long way and i really appreciate it a couple of years ago i remember this was a topic and the reason i'm bringing this up is because according to some of the leaks apparently legends arceus was originally planned to have voice acting like in the plans it was they wanted it to have voice acting in it and i think a legends game would be great to have voice acting because i feel like the legends games is kind of where they're directing the focus of the future a little bit of the franchise i mean i'm not saying like every single game that's going to be released is going to be a legends game like i'm not saying there's going to be like four back-to-back -back years of legends games like, what i'm saying is i'm sure they're definitely going to do more legends games because it's literally perfect for them because we can go back to an old region or an old generation we love and with pokemon going forward it's like they can't just keep giving us brand new generations and like a ton of new pokemon and the reason why is because we're going to get to a point where there are just so many new Pokemon and so many generations where it's kind of like too much and overwhelming. So going back to old generations and like maybe extending the next gen games out another year or two. What I mean by that is like extending, let's just say generation 10 and 11 out just a couple more years, like one or two more years, just so there is not so much confusion because there's like over a thousand Pokemon. We're almost at generation 10 which is insane. I don't have anything about Gen 10 in today's video, but if you want to check out, I've made I've made several videos about Generation 10 already. And I feel like voice acting would be such a great thing for them to add to a Pokemon game. I was never really the biggest fan of voice acting up until kind of recently. Now I think voice acting really adds to the game, especially like with some dialogue where there's just so many different words being said by an npc or like you know in the in the main storyline and it's just like oh my gosh it's so boring and sometimes sometimes i'm just tired of reading when i'm playing a video game and i just want to hear them talk you know what i mean just sit back relax and hear them talk and they probably would have to have the characters be animated a little bit more i mean i feel like that's not too big of a deal like i don't really care if the characters like animated super like all over the place while he's talking you know if they just move their mouth whatever that's that's fine with me but i i would actually really enjoy to see some voice acting there's so many hours i would have to go behind that to where it's kind of it's kind of overwhelming for a pokemon game but i'm sure we will get a voice acting game one day and i don't think there are any leaks and there are no leaks that suggest this for Legends ZA. I'm just saying this because of the leaks that suggested that or said that Legends Arceus was supposed to have voice acting, which that game I think would have been perfect for voice acting because there weren't too many NPCs in that game compared to like Scarlet and Violet or or like Sword and Shield or whatever. Because obviously the Jubilee Village was, it's a small village, you know, there's probably maybe three I, I would guess probably like 30 or so NPCs in there, you know, just people walking around, a couple on the map. So I feel like voice acting for Arceus wouldn't have been bad, but I don't know how it's going to be for Legends of the Game. And the reason why is because Legends of the Game takes place in Lumio City, so there's probably going to be a ton of people. Like, I would imagine the, the city is going to have a lot of people walking around. So let me know if you'd like to have a Pokemon game with voice acting, though. I think I definitely would. But they'd have to do it right because voice acting is sometimes annoying. And I'm also curious about, like, the combat style. So in Legends of Arceus, we had agile and strong right so i'm wondering if legends is gonna have something similar to that my guess is yes i'm gonna assume yes but obviously i don't know anything because i am not a leaker you know what i mean like i don't i don't have a direct source for this so theorizing right now i feel like we're gonna get combat style now i don't know if it's gonna be agile or strong i feel like they'll probably come up with something else you know two other random things and i mean i really wasn't even the biggest fan of that like i didn't really care too much about the agile versus strong styles i thought it was okay i feel like it 
I feel like in some scenarios, it didn't really make a big difference, but then sometimes it did. But, you know, I mean, if they don't add it, it's still going to be balanced. Everything's going to be just normal if they don't add it. But at the same time, because Mega Evolution's coming back to the game, maybe they're not going to allow us to do that. Like, maybe that was just for fun. I mean, I know it's totally different than Mega Evolution. Like, it's nothing, nothing in comparison, really. But the reason I'm saying that is because it may just be, like, a lot, like, too much for the battle system. If we had, you know, Megas, and then also, and we had the Agile and Strong Style. It's definitely possible. I definitely think they could still put it in the game, and it won't affect anything. And it won't, like, get in the way of Megas, or make the Megas, you know, confusing to use. So moving on to the Switch 2 stuff, I don't really talk about the Switch 2 too much, like, for the leaks-wise. I usually just kind of bring it up. But apparently, Centro Leaks is saying that things are heating up regarding a potential Switch 2 announcement next week. So far, nothing concrete, but more and more smoke is appearing. Then he also said, we think next week is the last chance Nintendo has to announce the console this year, so yeah, stay tuned. That's pretty interesting. I'm wondering if that's true. I feel like it could be true. So we got a tweet earlier. I wanna say it was probably like April. It was in like the first half of the year. It was the CEO of Nintendo tweeting saying that within the next fiscal year, they're gonna have the announcement for the Switch 2. And it's not the, it's not the release day of the Switch 2, it's just like the announcement, like, you know, the video announcing that, hey, this console exists, this is what it looks like, this is what it's called. And what he means by fiscal year is within a year from that tweet. So, so like, November-ish, the end of October, would be probably, like, I don't know, that's been about six-ish, five, six months, I guess, since we've had that tweet. I can't exactly remember when, but regardless, we're definitely getting the Switch 2 announcement at least within the next six months. 100%, it's gotta be within this... It's got to be within the next six months for sure, but Central Leaks is saying there is a chance it could be announced really soon. And that's exciting because then we get to see the future of Nintendo and we can kind of base more games. Like we can kind of theorize how games are going to be on the next console because obviously it's going to be more powerful. It's going to be capable of better graphics, bigger games and everything, which I'm stoked about. And Generation 10 is a reportedly going to be available on the Switch 1 and the Switch 2, and it might not even be called the Switch 2, it's probably going to be called New Nintendo Switch, which I know that's the meme that everyone's saying. It will probably will be a bad name like that, I'm hoping not. But let me know what you guys think, are you excited for the Switch 2? Are you excited for the future of Pokemon on the Switch 2? So Legends Yay may be the last Pokemon game on the Switch, or like at least the last game that's only available on the Switch, because if Generation 10 is available on the Switch and the Switch 2, obviously it's still going to be on the Switch, but a little bit different there. And also, one more thought before this video ends, if Generation 10 is on the Switch 1 and 2, I cannot wait to see comparison videos of how the graphics look on the Switch 1 compared to the Switch 2. I'd imagine the Switch 2 graphics for Generation 10 probably will look light years better. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.